Hey, welcome back. We're now starting our Microsoft Copilot series with advanced use cases. Now, today we're gonna to cover dynamic array formulas in Microsoft Excel using Copilot. My name's Victor Cuevas, and I'm the founder of the Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you're gonna learn how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. Do appreciate a like and a subscribe to help get the video out to others. Check out the free resources in the comments section below. First, what are array formulas? In Excel, they're powerful but complex formulas has to perform multiple calculations at the same time to either return a single result or multiple results. Now, why would we want to use Copilot for array formulas? With Copilot, you can describe what you want to do in plain English, and it'll generate the appropriate array formula for you. This saves time, reduces errors, and makes advanced Excel techniques accessible to users of all skill levels. In the past, I've gone down the YouTube rabbit hole to find an answer specifically to Excel arrays. So let's head over to Excel to check out an example. Now in this sheet, you see I have a small table listing out different shoe brands. You see I have Nike, Adidas, Puma, so forth. And I have listed the type of shoe and average cost. Now there's a smaller table next to it and it's focused solely on the type of shoe. My goal is to extract out data from the shoe details table, which is located in columns A through C, based on only records from the type of shoe, which is located in column E, and have that output sent out to columns G through I. Now normally this type of calculation could be really tricky, but let's see how Copilot can handle it. First on the ribbon, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Copilot button to enable it. Next in the prompt window, I'm gonna enter, write a formula that filters the shoe table based on the type in the type table and returns the result. So if I click over here, hit table design, you can see this is the shoes table. Click over here, table design, this is the type table. I'll go ahead and hit enter. We get our formula. Now notice, we can't add this formula to the worksheet but what we can do is copy this formula. So copy, come over here to G2, and I'm just gonna paste this formula. Go ahead and hit enter, and we get our dynamic results. Since this data is dynamic, I can add results to the type table and our output will dynamically update. So let me show you an example. If I come over here to the type table, I'm gonna type in boots, because boots is available in our shoe table. I'll hit enter. And now our new data set has records that include boots. Now this is really cool feature and demonstrates how Copilot can assist with creating dynamic array formulas to save you time. So next we're gonna check out BBA macros. I'll see you in the next lesson.